New at 5 today, an arrest in the attack on a Fort Worth girl as she walked to her school bus. An attack in April that was so brutal, the girl is still in the hospital and even needs a transplant. Bradley Blackburn reports. It's an arrest police hope will help Fort Worth families feel a little safer. 35-year-old Terry Wayne King II accused of violently assaulting a 12-year-old girl while she was walking to the school bus in West Fort Worth. This was a senseless act, a violent act on her. Detectives have worked the case for months and they're confident King is the only suspect. He lived in the neighborhood, but they still do not have a motive. We have ran several different possibilities. The little girl was not sexually assaulted. They looked at gang violence, racial prejudice and more. Random, if it was trafficking, if it was just sexual in nature. We have no indication that it was any of those. Thank you, Lord. In April, the attack prompted neighbors in the tough Las Vegas trail area to start a watch. Neon green guards near bus stops, parents keeping a close eye on their kids. He told my daughter he need help. My daughter said, uh, uh, now I'm going to school. Tweezer Buhinja but is the victim's father. Me. She is still in the hospital. He said she was pushed to the ground, grabbed by the neck. Her injuries so serious, she is waiting for a heart transplant. The heart is no working good. Buhinja and his family are refugees from Congo who moved to Fort Worth two years ago, trying to stay safe, grateful for this arrest. I feel good because I was scared too much, but uh, right now I'm, I'm feel good because the bad guy already, uh, they catch him. That suspect was arrested in Oklahoma City. He has a long criminal history, including domestic violence. Police say that he worked as a truck driver and they're concerned in his travels. He could be linked to other assaults. At police headquarters in Fort Worth, Bradley Blackburn, Channel 8 News.